Um, it's about time we talk about the conference championship. Yeah, there were some very interesting things happening. Besides John getting every pick wrong, wow, man. All right, let's be quiet. Let's uh, get right into the news. Nice dead joke. All right, early Wednesday morning, the Senate approved the rules for the impeachment trial that fell on the party of line vote, which delayed the question or whether not the Senate should suppo suppo in witness and do documents until later the trial. The resolution was approved in 53 to 47 votes. After the series of amendments made by the Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer were defeated by a Republican vote on the opening day of the trial, a resolution made Tuesday will give both the House impeachment managers and the President defense three days each to order to make their 24-hour trial arguments instead of the two days allowed originally. Governor Andrew Cuomo is proposing an extension of the five days in the New York State Fair. If this extension becomes official, the state will run for 18 days instead of the current 13. An addition weekend will be added, along with this special sensory-friendly days. The dates of the fair will be from August 21st, September 7th, and with the proposed Cuomo also pledged to only use renewable energy sources for the fair in, by 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So, like the short kid just said, the Converse cha Championship for the NFL was on Sunday. Yeah, but at least I'm not the dummy that picked both losing teams to win. Yeah, whatever, we're past that, alright? Um, I really did think the Titans were going all the way, though. I had the Chiefs, and honestly, the Titans weren't a bad pick. They played pretty good. Yeah, I know. Uh, in the opening drive, the Titans wide receiver A.J. Brown had a 37-yard catch, which set up a Titans field goal. And later in the first quarter, Titans running back Derrick Henry took a direct snap and walked into the end zone for a touchdown, giving the Titans a 10-point lead. Uh, then the first quarter, first quarter ended after Chiefs wide receiver Tyreek Hill caught an 8-yard touchdown pass from Pat Mahomes. In the middle of the second half, Titans offensive tackle Dennis Kelly becomes the heaviest player to catch a touchdown in the NFL playoffs. A big body, that's an accomplishment. Um, <laughs> anyways, the Chiefs fire back with another Tyree Kill touchdown. Then Mahomes had a monster scramble for another Chiefs touchdown. And uh, basically nothing happened interesting in the third quarter. And to wrap up the th Oh, and to wrap up, the Titans were down two scores on fourth down and Chiefs de def defensive end Frank Clark sacked Titans quarterback Ryan Tannehill to end the game 35-24. to Now weather. And bad language. It will be more seasonable and dry with sun developing into the afternoon. There is a high in the mid-30s. Tomorrow will be even more sunny with highs in the upper 30s. Friday will stay fairly dry and mild with a few more clouds and a high near 40. Saturday will be a bit breezier with some chances of rain and a high near 36. Sunday should have a high of 34 with some more snow. And then Monday and Tuesday are going to have highs in the mid-30s. I'm Allie with the weather. Now it's time to talk about the 49ers and the Packers. Yeah, that was really rough to watch. It kind of hurt. Uh, the 49ers did not allow a single point for the Packers in the entire first half. As for the Packers' defense, they couldn't stop the 49ers running back Raheem Mostert. Yeah, he also became the first player in NFL history to run for over 200 yards and four touchdowns in a playoff game. Very interesting journey from college to get there. Yeah, Mostert only had a total of 759 yards throughout his college career at Purdue. Because of this, he received very little attention from the NFL and went undrafted in 2015. He kept getting cut from teams until the 49ers signed him in 2017, and well, the rest is history. Oh, John, how careless of us. We forgot to put the most important person from the 49ers in the game. Who else mattered? Jimmy Garoppolo, duh. Oh, pfft. He was 6 for 8 in passes and passed for 77 yards. Yeah, the actually only good thing he did was probably hand the ball off to Raheem Mostert. Yeah. But basically, let's go to some non-football related sports. The 
girls indoor track team closed out their regular season Friday at Utica College with some outstanding results. Rhiannon and Butchko won the high jump with a jump of 4 feet 10 inches. Sectional qualifying standards and personal records were turned in by Rachel Ladd in the 3,000 meter run, Riley King and Kaylee Maloof in the 55 dash, Carly Burton and Kaylee Maloof in the 55 hurdles, and Riley King in the 300 meter run. The girls and boys bowling team beat Oswego last night 2-1. Brett Smith led the boys with a 653 series. The girls basketball team outlasted Mexico in overtime, beating the Tigers 47 to 41 in overtime. Lena Paul Carroll led the Spartans with 16 points, including nine in overtime. Both Larry Walker and Derek Jeter got elected in base to the Baseball Hall of Fame yesterday. Walker and Jeter will be inducted July 26 in the Hall of Fame Cooperstown. Je Jeter was one vote shy of being an anonymous pick in his 99.7 voting percentage, moved by Ken Griffey Jr. for the second highest. He is only behind his former teammate, Murano Riverda, who won anonymously. In upcoming games, the wrestling team will have their senior night against Cortland at 7, and the basketball team will play Fowler at 645. Good luck to the Spartans. And just like that, State Farm's dreams of their perfect Super Bowl went up in flames. But Luke, both QBs of the Chiefs and the Packers have endorsement deals with State Farm. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it. But they wanted to both make it, and only Aaron Rodgers, or, and Aaron Rodgers didn't make it. Oh, uh, good point. Now it's time for... Super Bowl. No, Luke, Pro Bowl predictions. Well, no one actually cares about that, so let's talk about Super Bowl. I have the Chiefs. Um, I'm not totally sure. I could see either team winning, but just because you said Chiefs, I'm going to say 49ers. Of course. Well, anyways, have a great day. Pan out.